Okay, so here's our challenge today, a tricky challenge today we have 5 plus 5 divided by 5 and 5 plus 5 inside parentheses. So how can I solve this challenge? Because a lot of students might be saying, okay, mister, this is the easiest challenge I've ever seen. I can easily solve it in a few seconds right here. So let's check our knowledge. Let's test our knowledge in the end of the video. So pause the video, try to solve it by yourself. Three options, A, B, and C. So choose one option, what do you think is the correct answer to this challenge? And write your option down into the comment section. We will check our answers in the end of the video. So it will be really interesting. So first of all, here's our challenge, and let's rewrite this challenge right here, okay? So what do we have right here? We have 5, we have plus 5, divided by 5, and we have 5 plus 5 inside parentheses. So here's our challenge, 5 plus 5 inside parentheses. And as you can see right here, we have addition, division, multiplication, and addition. And we can't solve this challenge randomly. It's really bad thing in terms of math. We should know what is the correct order to do this problem, because it not works only in math. For example, in biology, chemistry, we should know what is the correct definition, okay? Correct, correct law, correct property. And according to this, according to this question, let's learn about order of operation, because obviously, whatever order of operation we select is going to create a different answer, right? So we need to understand what is the correct order to do this problem, okay? And for example, let's look at this PEMDAS order of operation. This is the most popular order of operation in the world. All internet libraries, scientific graphing calculator works according to PEMDAS order of operation, okay? Right here we have a lot of steps, so it implies that parentheses evaluate, we evaluate at first, next we should evaluate the expression inside with exponents, so like 2 square, 2 cube, yeah? Next we should evaluate multiplication division group and the last step is addition and subtraction group okay so right now let's scan what elements do we have in our challenge or let's go from the top to the bottom let's scan step by step what elements do we have in our challenge first of all we have parentheses right here let's scan where do we have this parentheses in our challenge let's look at it so right here we have parentheses so it's really great we have parentheses right here so first we should evaluate the expression inside parentheses so this is our first step okay so what do we have right here we have five we have plus 5 divided by 5, and inside parentheses, what do we have? If you add 5 plus 5, we have 10, so times, times 10. Okay, let's go to the next step. What about next step? Next step is exponent. So let's scan where do we have this exponent right here. For me personally, I don't see any of those. We don't have any powers right here. We don't have any squares, cubes, so we just skip this part. We don't have any exponents. What about next step? Multiplication, division group. A lot of students say, okay, Right here we have multiplication, so we should multiply it first 5 times 10. But it not works like that. In terms of PAMDAS, we should scan what is the first sign from left to right. So first we should scan where do we have this expression, multiplication, division part. Let's scan where do we have it. We have division part right here, and we have multiplication part right here. So obviously, here is our next challenge. So because of this uh, same, uh, because of multiplication and division have the same priority, so we should scan what is the first sign from left to right. Doesn't matter. Multiplication, division, we should scan what is the first sign from left to right. And according to this, according to this expression, first sign from left to right is this division. So we should divide 5 divided by 5. Okay, so we have 5 plus 5 divided by 5, which is equal to 1. Yeah, we have 5 divided by 5 equal to 1, and times, and times 10. Okay, so right here we are dividing at first, so right here we have second step division. It works only to this case, it's not the division second step and multiplication third step. In our case it works like that, division second step, third step multiplication, we should complete this uh, multiplication, so we have 5 plus 1 times 10 equal to 10. As a result, we have 5 plus 10, this is our fourth step, and we don't have any subtraction, okay? So fourth step is addition. So 5 plus 10 equal to, equal to 15. And a lot of students might be saying, okay, mister, but right here we have implying multiplication, we should multiply it first right here, but then I answer them. Okay, let's look at this challenge in another perspective. Okay, so let's write this as 5 plus 5 divided by 5. Let's write it as a fraction, okay? 5 plus 5 over 5. And right here we have Inside parentheses, we have 5 plus 5. Let's look at it in this perspective. We can easily do this because a lot of students say, okay, let's write it as a fraction. Okay, it doesn't matter. Let's do this. So let's look at it. So 5 over 5, let's learn, let's remember that this is equal to 1, I guess. Yeah, so if we cancel this, this is equal to 1. Okay, so as a result, what do we have right here? We have 5 plus, right here we have 1. Yeah, and inside parentheses, we have 5 plus 5. And I think you you can easily see that right here 5 plus 5 equal to 10, 10 times 1 equal to 10, and we have the same 15, okay, doesn't matter, we have the same 
15, which is option C. So here's my proof for this challenge, because a lot of students don't know how can we sol solve this. I call a lot of students arguing with each other about this solution. And here's my explanation to this challenge. I hope you understand this explanation. I hope you learned something new. But definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. Also, you can easily check this challenge in your, say, in your graphing calculator, like a uh, complicated calculator, where you can plug in the whole entire problem. But don't use a regular calculator, because you know sometimes happen that uh, those, those, those calculators work with problems as you type it in. So, for example, you plug in 5 plus 5 and calculator gives you 10 instantly but calculators don't know about further operation because you should put the whole entire problem and then calculator is smart enough to know about order of operation they know that we have a division further yeah so we should we should we can't add at first we should divide at first for example yeah so i hope you understand this explanation so definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong if you need help with any of these classes i have a lot of videos on my youtube channel so with that being said see you in the next videos and have a great day